Hello there, friends of Sudoku. Welcome to today's New York Times Hard Sudoku Puzzle. Today is July 25, 2023. Ah, we got a seven blocking across here and up here, so clearly a seven must go here. We got a couple of nines blocking down and up and one more blocking over, so a nine must go here. Seven, of course, must go here or here and I must go here or here. And we got a two in one of these two squares. We also have a two blocking down here and up here and across here. So here's a two. There's five blocks across here, so here's a five. Now we got a five here, here. We got sevens here, or here. So five and seven in two of these three squares. It looks as if these two squares must be a six and a nine. We got a six and a nine here and a six and a nine here. So all of these six squares can be seen by a six and a nine. So yes, six and a nine must go here. Therefore, it is clear that a three must go here or here because this three blocks these two squares, right? And a seven must go here because a seven blocks here and here, and the seven blocks here. So here's a seven. Now the seven blocks up, this seven blocks up, we got two sevens blocking these squares as well. So here's a seven, six and nine here, four, eight and one here. I'm not sure I can do anything with that yet, but I can try to figure out what these might be. They must be a four, six, and a three. So we got six here, here now. And these four cannot be a four, six, a three, therefore they must be a one, two, eight, and nine. Two, nine, this is a one, eight. And these must be a three, six, and an eight. This six blocks here, this six blocks here. So here's a six. Now, of course, a three and a four for these squares. And a three and an eight for these. We got twos here or here, and we got sevens here or here. Four must go here, here. This must be a three or a five. This must be a five or an eight. So I'm thinking that these three and eights can be resolved because these are six and nine, right? This is three blocks here. So one of these must be a three. Therefore, this cannot be a three. It must be an eight. And this must be the three. And now we have a situation here. And that situation is that this square is very, very restricted. It cannot be a one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, or a nine. The only digit left out is a four, which goes here. One, two, seven, eight across here now. Seven, eight, therefore here. Two eight one seven. We took away a possible eight square here. I think to I think I remember that this was a five or something. 
Let me double check. This cannot be a one, two, three, four. Could be a five, but another six, seven, eight, or a nine. So I don't know what happened here, but it must be a five. And that gives us this five here, of course. Now here we're looking for a one, four, and an eight. We have a one and a four blocking here. So here's an eight, and these must be one and four. So eight blocking down, eight blocking over here is an eight, yes. And therefore, this is an eight. Now we have an eight here or here. And these must be, uh, what did I say? A one, seven, and a two. One, seven, two. We know that one of these is a one, by the way. So one of these is a one. Can we do anything more with these? We know that one of these is a three. What's the last culprit? A four. No, I can't do anything about the four. I think three's here and here and here and here. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine, I'm saying. So that should immediately prompt me to enter a six here because we got a three and a nine blocking this square, don't we? So here's a six. Now a three, nine and a three, nine. And these must be a one and a seven. Therefore, these must be a three and a four. This is also a three uh, or a four, and this therefore cannot be a three or four. Otherwise, we would have a three, four here, 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 and here. And as we know, this is a unique rectangle, and it would actually mean that this puzzle had two solutions. And we know that the New York Times computer program doesn't generate faulty puzzles. So this is not a three or a four. So if it's not a three or a four, it can only be a one because we need a three, four, and a one for these squares. So here's a one. This is now a three, four, and this is a three, four, but the three blocks here, doesn't it? So here's a four and here's a three. That gives me a three here and a four here. And a four here, by the way. And that was all from understanding the unique rectangle. Here we are still looking for a three nine, aren't we? Yes, we are. We also have this four blocking down and this four blocking over. This four blocking over. Four goes here and therefore a four must go here. And the last digit up here in the first row is a one. Now back to these, a one, three, and a seven. Seven blocks here, here's a seven, here's a one. One and two here. One and two here. Therefore, these must be a nine and a three. I don't know what to do with those. Can we do anything here with the missing one, five, and eight? Don't think we, well, no, this is a one or an eight. That's all we can say. But a two, eight, and a nine up here, and a two and an eight here indicates that a nine must go here. And this is a two, eight, and this is a two, eight. Let's see, we have six and nines here, right? Now the nine blocks down, giving me this a six and this a nine, and therefore this a nine. And that gives me a nine here. And we do remember the other digit here, right? It's a three. Now a three must go here. And these have to be a seven and six. Six blocks down, here's a seven, here's a six seven blocks up and down and over as seven goes here. What about the sixes? No, six must go here, here. So we can't really do anything with that yet. Still one and two here. But a two blocks over here and up here. So here's a two. And now we have a two and an eight in these two squares. Look at this, two, eight. 2, 8, 2, 8, 2, 8, therefore must go here. 
and here. Therefore, this is a one and a four. Four blocks over, here's a one, here's a four. And now we have a four here. It's looking pretty good now. One of these is a one and the others must be a three and a five. Three, five, five here or here. No, no good yet. But what about these three? They must be a three, five, and a six. Six go here, goes here, here. We knew that. Three. No, I'm not sure yet. Maybe I should look elsewhere. Two, three, six, eight. Two, eight, three, six. Three, six, two, eight. <laughs> No, not yet. We are not out of the woods yet. I'm so busy trying to figure out this stuff that I think that I neglected that a three must go in one of these squares. So let me look at these four empty squares here. They must be a one, two, three, and an eight. Here's a one, two, and an eight for you. Therefore, this is a three. How about that? Now, of course, this is a three, and we remember that a six had to go in one of these two squares. Now, this is a six. And across here, we need a six now for this square. One, two, eight. Isn't that what I said? Eight blocks. Well, no. Yes, it is what I said, but it's not possible to solve it just yet. But I can, of course, look at this square because it needs to be a five. Now we have a five here. And this is a one, eight. The eight blocks here, of course. So here's a one, here's the eight. And now I think we are cooking because this must be a three. And therefore, this must be a one. And that gives me this one here and this two, making this a two and this a two. So this can only be an eight. And this can only be a what? Nine. Just two squares missing. Five must go here. And a eight. Thank you for watching and a goodbye for now. See you again here back soon, I hope.